Hello guys, uh, today in this video, we are going to discuss about band theory of solids. So what is band theory of solids and uh, why it is popular or uh, this theory is a very good theory to explain the uh, properties of solids, okay. So actually uh, the free electron theory before this band theory of solids was successful in explaining uh, many electronic and thermal properties of metals, okay, um, such as uh, specific heat and, uh, you know, paramagnetism. electrical conductivity, okay, thermionic emission, and thermal conductivity, etc. Okay. So the free electron theory, which was uh, like, you know, uh, established theory before band theory of solids uh, was uh, like, you know, uh, successful in explaining these properties, like, you know, specific heat of solids and, uh, you know, metals particularly, um, and paramagnetism, conductivity, electrical conductivity, thermionic emission and thermal conductivity. However, there are various other properties which could not be explained by this theory. Right. So uh, what are those actually that cannot be explained that could not be explained by this theory. Okay. So actually, uh, the free electron theory could not explain uh, why certain solids have large number of free electrons. So the presence of free electrons. Okay, in metals, particularly, right. And, uh, you know, free electrons so that, you know, uh, these particular set of materials, they behave as good conductors, while others have hardly any electrons, you know, like um, insulators, right? So it could not actually distinguish between these, you know, conductors and insulators, why there are free electrons available in metals or conductors and uh, why uh, there are uh, not enough um, free electrons in the insulators, right? And also it could not account for the variation of resistivity with temperature. So the variation of one is this presence of free electrons, why there is a difference in uh, you know, metals and the insulators. And the second thing is uh, uh, it could not uh, give us any idea, any explanation of variation of resistivity. Okay, resistivity with temperature. Okay, for insulators, basically for insulators. Okay, it could not also explain this, right? The properties of semiconductors. The second, uh, the third one, we said the properties of semiconductors also could not be explained, okay? Using this uh, free electron theory or the model of free electron theory, okay? So the failure of this free electron model is because of a very oversimplified assumption, okay? And uh, what is that oversimplified assumption of this free electron model, which led to, you know, it's a failure, okay? So this, uh, this is because of an oversimplified assumption that a conduction electron in a metal experiences a constant or zero potential, okay? So what is that oversimplified assumption that we said because of which, you know, and there were like, you know, situations, okay, which could not be explained. Oversimplified assumption, we would say, okay. Oversimplified assumption. And what is that oversimplified assumption we said? That the electron is free to move in the conduction band and it doesn't experience any potential, right? So it doesn't experience any potential due to what? Due to the ion cores present in the crystal structure, okay, the lattice. So, um, but the uh, motion is restricted by the surface of the crystal, okay? So it's just like, uh, you know, if you remember, we had considered uh, the motion of the electrons, like, you know, a potential well, and the electrons here, in the, the electrons are free to move, 
okay here and this height you know that v is equal infinite potential or whatever we in the mathematical simple mathematical model we consider infinite potential well so the um, so the electron is free to move here in a finite dimension but uh, is not allowed to go beyond this you know outside this uh, potential that's the surface potential within which the electrons are bounded but they are free so you consider that you know this uh, particular energy band uh, i mean that energy um, level as the conduction band and in the conduction band uh, the electron will not experience any potential right due to the ion cores and it is free to move this is a very over i mean uh, over simplified assumption and because of which the model the the free electron theory or the model could not explain many of these things okay what are those things we said it actually could not distinguish between conductors semiconductors and insulators okay and also it cannot explain the variation of resistivity with temperature for insulators okay so these are the things uh, that cannot be explained using uh, the free electron model right so uh, what actually happens what is the you know um, correction that is needed in this free electron theory so that you, you know it can uh, explain a broader spectrum of the phenomena right like you know disting uh, distinguish between conductors semiconductors and insulators uh, those things can be done so we need to see that okay so the first thing that uh, comes to um, our mind is what there is a correction required in what the potential experienced by the electron in presence of the ion cores so potential of electron right if you can correct this thing then we can actually understand the behavior okay so uh, what we will do um, in fact the potential due to ion cores is not constant okay and it may change with position of the electron in the crystal okay some contribution to this potential also arise because of other electrons present in the crystal because in a crystal we said there are positive ion cores and there are many electrons also right so the potential of any particular electron okay will actually depend upon what depend upon the position of the ion cores and also the other electrons right so uh, to a reasonable approximation what can be done is the ion cores may be considered at rest though i mean we know these ion cores are actually oscillating right now with respect to their mean position in a solid but uh, let us for now just to keep it little mathematically simpler what we can take is the ion cores um, will be considered uh, to be at rest and the potential experienced by electron in a crystal okay we will assume it to be periodic okay periodic and what is the period the period is equal to the lattice constant so what do, what does it mean actually we know that the ion cores are arranged periodically in a lattice structure right so these way they are arranged right okay so we need to consider this that they are not actually oscillating they are kind of fixed to a reasonable approximation we can just consider the opposition is fixed they are at rest okay and now we will see how the electron will experience the potential right um because of this ion cores okay so uh, what we can uh, do now if this is the case uh, we can use this assumption okay based on the fact that the ion cores in a crystal are distributed periodically on the lattice sides as i told you right so the potential contribution due to all other free electrons okay the potential contribution due to all other free electrons as i said there are uh, positive ion cores and also the free electrons present but we will consider here that the contribution due to potential due to all other free electrons uh let us consider consider it to be constant right okay and whatever variation now in the potential um, will be there is because of what the positive ion cores now what we we can do is for example we will uh, take this is the position of the atom right and uh, from the position of the atom okay with respect to distance like you now with respect to distance this is uh, the distance 
axis this is uh, your potential okay this vertical axis is the potential axis right now if i want to plot the potential right as we know the potential is proportional to 1 upon r this is simple um, from coulombic uh, force of attraction or repulsion that can be uh, easily shown that uh, you know f is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught um, e square by r square and then f is equal to dv by dr so v is f dr and then you integrate it you will get this so vr is proportional to 1 upon r so i'm only interested in the curve the nature of the curve so i will draw the you know this because v this potential is a negative value okay so so we we will get this kind of nature if i will sim symmetric of course both the direct both the sides right so this is how it varies right now this is for this is for one atom you can see so now there are you know multiple atoms period um, periodically arranged and the periodicity over here is the lattice constant that the uh, distance between two uh, lattice points right so now if you will just repeat this kind of you know for example there is one more um, atom over here right and uh, i will just draw like this okay another atom at a distance of a again and then we will draw the like now the potential curves like this and then like this then like this okay like this so as the you know atoms are arranged periodically the potential will also be periodic you can see so finally we can like you know you can take the like you know the potential curves like this this one you know we will simplify it further like you no know, uh, finalizing the variation of potential okay when the electron approaches so this gives us a periodic potential so we can further simplify it and uh, we can say okay now the electron will experience actually a periodic potential uh, which can be shown graphically just uh, approximation this way we can show it this is our potential as a function of distance one dimensional i'm just showing it one dimensional right so so the positions if you, if i'll just show you like you no know, these are the lattice points we will uh, draw uh, with a periodicity of a right with a periodicity of a so like this and then uh, just for okay just these are the position of the atoms okay in the crystal then the potential graph or the curve can be shown this way which is periodic and one already i have shown you like this right so for every you know like you now it's in the exactly the same okay so you can see this periodic kind of this okay so the potential is not zero here like in um, in the free electron model we said the electron is free there is no potential right free electron model we approximate we kind of consider the ideal gas molecule nature so okay so this is uh, the one dimensional representation of potential experience this is the one dimensional representation of potential experienced by an electron in a perfectly periodic crystal lattice with lattice constant lattice constant that is the separation over here is a okay the periodicity over here okay so now we can consider this way okay so the total wave function for the system is obtained from a combination of wave functions combinations of wave functions each one of which involves the coordinates of one electron right the motion of an electron in a periodic potential the potential is periodic here and the motion of the electron will now be affected by this periodic potential right will give us two two major points like two major results one is there exist using this particular model we can show that um there exist allowed energy bands there exist allowed energy bands separated by a forbidden gap loud energy bands 
separated by a forbidden gap okay a forbidden region okay or we call it as band gap okay using this model you can easily explain this this band gap okay the second important thing that can be uh, yielded from this uh, periodic potential consideration is the electronic energy function okay the electronic energy as a function of k the momentum space okay the electronic energy ek are periodic in the vector k so in the momentum space this energy value is also periodic that's the second important or major point that can be determined from this right so the free electron in the free electron theory if you remember like a kind of potential well uh, we uh, had obtained e is equal to h bar square k square by 2m okay so there is no upper limit to the energy and um, also this k value the k value can have k can have discrete values okay there is no upper limit to the energy and k can have discrete values okay which means that the energy levels are discrete and may have any spacing right may have any spacing depending on the dimension of the box the potential box right um the existence of band gaps is the most important property which emerges when the free electron model is extended okay the free electron model where we consider the potential to be zero is now extended to include the effect of periodic potential of ion cores so these are the ion cores we said right so we consider the effect of these ion cores on the um, uh, uh, electron the potential of these ion cores then we can modify the free electron model so that is it in this class in the next class we will continue with the block theorem and uh, we will uh, take this model to a very simple um, model okay kind of you know modify it mathematically so mathematically a simpler model we will consider which is known as the chronic pinna model okay and we will discuss more about it thank you for watching